The Curtis Wanamaker triplane, also known as the Curtis Model T, was a large flying boat dating back to World War I. Its story began in the year 1915, when American businessman Rodman Wanamaker commissioned the Curtis Aeroplane and Motor Company to design and build a large flying boat capable of transatlantic flight. It was to be larger than Rodman's previous commission to Curtis, which was a large flying boat to be the first aircraft to cross the Atlantic for a grand prize of 1,000 British pounds, or approximately 1.3 US dollars today, as was offered by the British newspaper Daily Mail. Press reports early on in the prototype's construction showed a large triplane, 68 feet in length, or 18 meters, with equal span six bay wings of 133 feet, or 40.5 meters each. It was claimed that the aircraft had an all-up weight of 21,450 pounds, or 9,750 kilograms, and that the type would be powered by six yet-to-be-decided engines, each having a predicted output of 140 horsepower. The British Royal Naval Air Service placed an initial order for 20 triplanes. The first of this order was completed at the Curtis plant in Buffalo, New York, in 1916. When it was first rolled out, it was the largest aircraft in the world. The completed prototype differed somewhat from the press depiction in that it did not feature equal span wings, but rather its uppermost wing had a wingspan of 134 feet, or 40.8 meters, and the other wings had different spans, all of which were significantly shorter than that of the top. Instead of the claimed six engines, the triplane was to be powered by four Curtis V4 engines, each with an output of 250 horsepower. These engines were to be installed on the middle wing, which was not common for the time. The crew would consist of six, including two pilots and a flight engineer, which would be housed in an enclosed cabin. As manipulation of the aircraft's controls were entirely reliant on the physical strength of the pilot, small windmills were able to be connected to the aileron cables via a system of electrically operated clutches, thus being an early form of power-assisted controls. The specifications of the, of the triplane are It was 58 feet in length, or 18 meters. The upper wingspan was 134 feet in length, or 40.8 meters. The middle wing was 100 feet in length, or 30 meters and the lower wing was 78 feet and 3 inches in length, or 23.9 meters. It would be 31 feet 4 inches in height, or 9.6 meters. It would have an empty weight of 15,645 pounds, or 7,096 kilograms. It would have a gross weight of 22,000 pounds, or 10,000 kilograms. It would have a maximum speed of 100 miles an hour, a range of 675 miles, or 1,086 kilometers, at a cruising speed of 75 miles per hour and it would have an endurance of 7 hours, with the climb to 4,000 feet taking roughly 10 minutes. Unfortunately, the planned for Curtis V4 engines were not yet available at the time of the prototype's completion, and as a result it was decided to, instead of flying the aircraft in the United States, take it to England by ship. Once there, it was reassembled at the Felix Stowe Seaplane Experimental Station. As the prototype still bore no engines, there were two main options to choose from. The former was the 240 horsepower Renault engine, but those were soon swapped out for the more powerful 250 horsepower Rolls Royce Eagle engine. On its maiden flight, the triplane suffered structural damage considered irreparable, and the order for the remaining 19 was cancelled. Though no further triplanes would be built, it did provide John Port of Felixstowe with the inspiration to build his own large flying boat, the Felixstowe Fury.